Just a quick look at the uh, Volkswagen Discover Media Infotainment System, which looks like that. Slightly bigger screen than the uh, composition standard one you get in the, in the caddies, which is what I'm in at the moment, the Caddy Maxi Life uh, Generation 4. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. The satellite navigation I've been trying out. The Volkswagen satellite navigation, I've been using it for the first time, going into an area I've never been to before, putting total trust into the system. And uh, yeah, it works fine, no problems at all, love it, it's uh, really accurate. That also works in conjunction with the heads up display in the middle of the dashboard as well. So it gives you directions in the middle of the dash and that works, I've got no problems with it, no issues. It's just common sense. So uh, yeah. No problems at all with it. On this particular one, you've got your uh, your map SD card and you've got your media SD card on the right for music and stuff. But yeah, the, it, re it works really well. The radio works nice. No problems with that. A digital radio, FM radio. I think it's got an AM radio as well. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's got an it's got an AM radio as well. Never even knew. So you've got that plus your digital radio. So all oh, that works perfect. Um, I've been using it for about a week or so now. Uh, media, select the SD card, looks for your phone if you've got music on that, using the Bluetooth, etc. Traffic, there's a lot of things on here I've, I've still not tried out. I'm still new to this system and don't really know a lot. I've not even tried. I didn't even realise it even had a CD player until I, I looked closely. <laughs> That's how new I am to this system. And it's obviously got the CD slot on the top and inject. Not tried that out yet. The only thing is I'm not sure whether it's got the speed cameras. I don't know whether you've got to add that on. It's no big deal. I mean you've got to just just got to be careful, but I've not can't see any option of turning uh, traffic cameras, speed cameras on. Also, I'm not sure whether it can do a postcode search. Like I say that that's where I'm going. To, that's the address I've put in where I'm going to. But as I say, I can't see any way of putting a postcode in at the moment. It's no big deal, but it probably is some somehow of uh, doing that. Uh, so yeah, overall, really impressed. Also, I've got the app Connect, the USB, which connects my smartphone, which I'm using at the moment, to to the uh, navigation system. So you can use Google Maps because I was stuck. I needed a supplier in an area. Of, um, I needed some paint, a special type of paint. So I searched for a, a local supplier, which I'm at at the moment now. Found this place using Google Maps, and it transfers. It, it just brings it all. You just shout wherever you want in on the on the system, and it brings it all up the local suppliers of wherever you're after. And it brought me straight to it. So that's another advantage of having the app connect. It is, in my opinion, it is well worth having that as an option on uh, whatever Volkswagen or car you've got. If you've got the option of having it, I'd go for it. It also charges up your phone as well. There's a little slot down there for your phone to rest on. It keeps it nice and it's a counter sunk area. It keeps it nice and steady. But yeah, that's just a quick update for this particular head unit. Uh, or infotainment system as they call it okay thanks for watching